one of the biggest things that have allowed me to accept more for myself and for others is, is capability. Some people, it's, they're just not capable of doing what you need from them in your life. You know, we have these roles, mother, father, wife, husband, whatever it is, sister. Builder. Yeah, builder. Creator. So every time you hear a role, you think they're supposed to act a certain way, Coach, do it this right. way, dress a certain way, yep. act this way. But that's, all that's doing is limiting our minds to, well, until you love yourself and understand it, that, that, that you have to do it this one way. Like you said, when you build, you go a different route. But that's who you are. That's your vision. That's what makes you yeah. unique. That's what draws certain clients to you, you know. But so many of us, until we're aware, we think that we have to stick with these roles that we're assigned or that we've been given ourselves and the moment we fail on these roles that we think that, oh, my mother, I have to be home and cook a dinner every single night. We put all this pressure on ourselves. And the moment we think that we didn't do that, and this role that everyone has for us or what we put on ourselves, then we feel like we failed ourselves or our kids or our husband or our spouse, whatever it is. And then also we take that and we put it on other people. How often have you been disappointed when you're thinking, well, a mom's supposed to be here and be doing this, a mom, but... One of the biggest things that have allowed me to accept more for myself and for others is, is capability. Just because you're a father or a husband or a mother or a sister or wife or whatever doesn't mean that you're capable of doing what that other. So it's, it's, it's really, like I said, it's just a different No, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Now, like what is yeah. their capability? I mean, I may love somebody so deep and really want to be in a relationship, with, but if they're not capable, I'm really big on... It's the first question I ask the people, like, what have you done to love yourself? What do you do? And if they say Manny Petty or I go to the gym every day, okay, yeah, that's great on the outside. But I'm talking about to your heart, to your soul. Everything starts from the heart and your soul and it talks to your mind. And then that's what releases everything. That's what causes, to me, pain in your body. Like if your heart and your soul are right, that triggers something in your mind. Your mind triggers something within your body. So if you don't have your heart and your soul right... You're now that I know, like there's no way you're gonna be, you're gonna have the capacity to be at the depth that I need you to be for me. Doesn't, sure, doesn't mean you have to match me, but your depth has to be a depth where you can go there and go deep into your heart, into your soul, and be open about it. Hey, what's up? Thanks for checking out my videos here on the Jess Marshall YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for sure. Hit that bell. Press that button to watch the next video. If you got a question you have about any of the topics I bring up in the videos, drop a question below and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you ASAP. See you on the next one.